Okay, hello friends. Welcome again to another session on triangles, and uh, we have been doing congruence criterion proving, right? So in the previous few sessions, we saw different criteria. What all? SAS, then ASA, then AAS, SSS. Now we are going to take up the last one, which is RHS congruence criterion. So uh, again, as we have been doing, so what we'll do is we'll first explain the congruence criteria and then we will prove it here itself okay so first of all what's rhs so as the name suggests and most of you would be knowing it already you have done it in previous grades we're just trying to prove the theorem here right now so what's the statement and what we are going to prove and how so rhs stand for r for right angle h for hypotenuse and s for any other side other than the hypotenuse so clearly if you see here, there are two triangles, and if you see, this is 90 degree, guys. So I have I have made two 90 degree right angle triangle. Okay, so this is right. So it's given. What is given? So let's start with the statement. Statement is if there are two right triangles, right, or two triangles where two angles are right. Yeah. So two angles are right mean. One, ang one triangle has one right angle and there is another triangle which is also right angle. And if the hypotenuse are same, that is this is AC here is equal to PR, point number one. Point number two, any of the two sides. So let's say BC is equal to QR. If that is so, then these two triangles will always be congruent. That's the statement, right? Once again, right angle do right angle triangles if hypotenuses are same and one of the other two sides are also same also equal then the two triangles are congruent that is what we are going to prove and how are we going to prove is again uh, if you see only one angle is there and that two non included angle so hence sas is out of question we can't do sas is it so that means Either we have to prove that this included angle is also equal, or if we somehow know that both the angles are equal, whichever way. So obviously, the moment we get only one angle equal, that is either of A being equal to P or in this case C being equal to R, then in either of the cases, we know that this uh, these two triangles are going to be congruent, right? So hence our job is basically to find out such such condition or find out whether a is equal to p or c is equal to r so hence let us now do it formally and i'm writing given what's given so custom you have to follow you have to write this so what's given guys it's given that triangle a b c sorry let me write here directly as angle two triangles are given triangle a b c in triangle a b c angle b is equal to angle q and this is equal to 90 degree both of them are equal to 90 degrees this is one then what is given hypotenuse ac the longest side is equal to pr this is also given okay and the third one is bc bc is equal to how much eq bc or let me write qr sorry q r bc is equal to qr i hope the given criteria is clear what is to prove to prove to prove what do we need to prove triangle abc a b c is congruent to triangle pqr why are we doing it just for fun yeah so let's enjoy let's do it so abc is congruent to pqr and how do we do that um again we need some construction because only unless the other angle is equal so that will be going to be tough right if the angles are not equal so how do i do it again as we did in sss criteria we can do the same here right so let's drop a line till this point here pq i am extending such that qp dash is equal to pq okay that's the thing so hence i have to just reflect the line pq around or along qr so let's use a tool which is available with uh, GeoGebra. So let me just switch it off because it will not work otherwise. So let's this reflection tool be there. I'm going to reflect this line. Oh, sorry, it just picked up the entire triangle. I don't need that. I just simply don't need that. So let me do it once again and reflect about a line. What I have to reflect this, this line only about 
this line and fantastic i got p dash right now p q1 dash is the points you know superposing q so let me just hide this uh, q1 dash here will he, will i be able to what do you think uh, yeah but then q also disappeared so let me just yeah so i brought q back okay now what uh, we are also going to join these two segments uh, sorry points p dash to r okay oh yeah i think it got deviated okay so let me just redo it undo this one yeah so it did not deviate so hence p and right i don't need this g unnecessary confusion so let me just take this away okay now it's clear all of you are clear with the construction so let me also write it let me now switch it on and i'm saying construction what construction i am doing guys construction is this what's construction so pq so we did this construction pq extended so that it is equal to p dash q and what angle p abc abc is equal to angle pqr right and both are equal to 90 degrees 90 degrees okay so this is something uh which we did now and join what join p dash r p dash and r joined joined right so this is what we have done now we will again compare like we did in an sss criteria a b c and p dash q r so i'm saying triangle in triangle a b c and which triangle and triangle p dash q and r let's observe these two triangles this one here and q dash q r there are few things which i already know and that is a b is equal to p dash q without doubt why is this because i constructed boss so by construction i constructed it here where where did i mention it here i have mentioned it pq is um you know oh i'm sorry no sorry 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 this is wrong why is this wrong because pq is equal to p dash q hmm? so um will it help folks will it help uh let's see so okay so we have done this this is equal to this and this is coming yes it will help so forget about these two triangles I, yeah what I'm, I'm i'm trying to say is um construction pq is not equal to p dash q actually this is what we need to do a change here pardon me what i'm doing is not pq is equal to p dash q actually intelligent thing will be to do a b is equal to p dash q a b is equal to p dash q Okay, so this is the construction I am doing. So, correction, guys, correction. Some, you know, uh, I was, I might be in some other thought when I said that PQ is equal to QP dash. No, AB is equal to P, P dash Q. That's what we are doing. Okay, now AB is equal to P dash Q by construction. What else? I can say angle B is equal to angle P dash Q and R. Perfect. Why? Both of them are 90 degrees. Check. ABC is equal to PQR is equal to 90 degrees, right? I don't know why I did PQ is equal to QP dash. No. So this is the thing, right? So angle B is P dash. Angle B is P dash QR. Both are 90 degrees. So it's fair enough if I made it also 90 degrees. Perfect. And what else? BC is equal to QR given. BC is equal to QR. This is given. So I don't need to do anything over here. Where is it given? Here it is given. BC is equal to QR. So, what can I say about these two triangles? All of you are intelligent enough. Now you can figure out that ABC is congruent to triangle P dash QR. Right? ABC is congruent to P dash QR. The moment you say that, what happens? We can say AC, hence, hence, all right, therefore, 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 AC will be equal to P dash r so ac this is ac so this will become p dash r right but we have seen that or it was given what was given ac was equal to pr so can i not write here itself that this is equal to pr okay because ac was equal to pr it was given now if you look at 
these two triangles. Which one? Let's now consider triangle P, Q, R, and what else? Mm, what else? What else? Yes, angle P dash triangle. Sorry, triangle P dash Q, P dash Q R. Okay, P dash Q R. Now, in this case, P R is equal to P dash R. Therefore, can I not say, guys, what can I say? Let me draw a dot properly. I don't know why it doesn't appear properly. Okay, therefore, here also I was struggling to make this dot properly. Okay. So what does this mean? This becomes P R P R P R P dash P R P dash is an isosceles triangle, and hence I can say this angle is theta, and this angle is also theta. Yep, equal, isn't it? So hence I can say triangle Q P R is equal to angle. Sorry, not triangle Q P dash R, which is equal to theta. Both are equal. Wait a minute. Sorry for this glitch. So I'll write theta. Right. So QPR is equal to QP dash R equals to zero. Oh, uh, equal to theta. Now, the moment I say that, what do I mean? Now, if if you see QP dash R, guys, QP dash R is actually equal to BAC also. Why? Because these two, let me use this color here. If you look at this very poor line I was trying to, let's say, yes. So this is the line. This is the, you have to attention, pay attention here in this line. So this will imply what? Angle. Which one? BAC. BAC is equal to angle. Which one? BAC is Q P dash R. Q P dash R, right? And now compare these two statements, folks. What do I get? If you see QPR is QP dash R, BAC is QP dash R. That means I can prove that QPR is equal to BAC. And that is what I was looking for. Understood? So QPR is BAC. QPR is BAC. So hence I can write. B A C. Let's say this is also theta, right? So Q P R and B A C both are equal. The moment I get this, I am done. So let me just make some space here to write. Okay, so I think it will interfere with the writing. So let me see. Yes, it is. So let me not do that. Yes, let me not do that. So let me do undo. Undo. Yeah, perfect. So what do I do? So let me write in this small space. Hmm? Um, running out of space here. But anyway, so now the moment these are so hence you can say triangle in triangle, which one? ABC and triangle PQR. What do we know? We know that A B uh sorry, so angle C A or B A C angle B A C is equal to angle. QPR. Right? We just proved it where here. See? And angle B is equal to angle Q 90 degrees. Both are 90 degrees. And either you take AC or whichever way. AC is equal to PR, let's say. So AC is equal to PR. It's given. Isn't it? So AC is equal to PR. Right? So by this, so by A A S congruence criteria, I can say by AS. These two are congruent. Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. Uh, just in time or just in space. Okay, so I could write that. Yeah. So hence I declare that triangle ABC. Oh, 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 oh. Wait. ABC. ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. Fantastic. Understood. Right. So what did we do? We had two triangles. We had drawn AB is equal to P Q P dash. Correct. An angle also B is equal to Q. We had maintained that. Proved that this particular triangle here is congruent to this one. Got what? This angle theta. Uh, sorry. This side is equal to this side. That is AC is equal to 
uh, this p dash r which was in way in in the in turn equal to p r so p r is equal to r p dash the moment we establish that we got this theta is equal to this theta the moment these two angles are equal uh, what happened uh, you know and and this angle theta was equal to theta because these two triangles were proven to be congruent so hence a became equal to p and that is what we were chasing the moment a became equal to p another angle b is equal to q anyways given and you take ac is equal to pr so by aas the two triangles are congruent and that's it that's how we achieved this congruence criteria right so in all these sessions what did we learn there are four basic criteria of congruence one is sas we learned in the first session then asa corollary to a asa was aas then we learned sss and now rhs so four and one corollary so in a in a way five you can say but then basically there are four and with these four rules uh, or four uh, set of uh, criteria right we can prove triangles congruence right and we can solve problems related to that now this congruence criteria are going to part of your mathematical journey for a long long time so it's advisable to all of you that solve as many problems as possible on these concepts so that you ingrain them and hence never make or you you should be you know perfecting the knowledge so that you should be able to solve any problem related to triangles and their congruences okay so see you in the next sessions with more problems and let's try to improve upon our knowledge thank you